What is going on, people? Welcome back to another episode of Peckham Rad TV. We are hosting Vanbra on Inform side today. As prior to the highlights, I'd just like to bring it to your attention that Peckham Rad have grafted this season. We've got ourselves into a cup final against Ball and Sports. It's fours on the doors. Pounds that is. You ain't going to want to miss it. Uber, talk to us. Up, Sunday morning. Sunday morning. It's a right day as well. It feels a bit, feels a bit warm. You're missing the cup final due to a weekend away. How are yeah. you feeling about it? Um, I'm upset because I'm not going to be there. But I know, I know the boys will do it. So I just expect to come back and see the trophy. Get, um, get a medal, I think. I should get a medal, right? Um, Definitely. How's yeah. the camp feeling? Camp's, camp's good. Camp's good. Obviously, in the league, when we're not doing as good as we should be, but you get me, you're going to get the cup, so it'll, it'll, be, it'll be a bright, bright and, uh, it'll be a brighter side to the league if we just get the cup. A good end to the season. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. Good luck today. Very inspiring words from Uber there. Uh, I'm not sure if you could tell by the, you know, the tone of his voice, but he's very passionate about the game, about Pekka Mariah. Turns up week in, week out. It's unfortunate he's not in the final. Give me, a, give me a score prediction. What's the score going to be today? 3 0. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Yeah, 3 0. Who's going to score the first goal? Um, my dad. <laughs> 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 yeah, you guys, you guys. Have. That's what I've been hiding. No, I've come back from injury and I'm um, trying to get back into it, isn't it? So, trying to get back into the team. Cup final in a few weeks. How's, the, how's everyone feeling? How's everyone feeling? Everyone's excited. Everyone's excited. Everyone's there. Everyone wants a part of it. Everyone wants to be in the final. Hopefully we win it and bring back the cup. Let's hope so, let's hope so. It's turn to doing these dinosaur impression. Look. Uh, let's go have a little nap. Anyway, Peckham and Ryan know what is at stake and they know that a victory is imperative in today's fixture. Uh, three points really help them out where they are standing. Maybe even push themselves up to pushing for that second place promotion spot. Let's get into a little pre-match talk from the gaffer. Uh, middle of the park. Make sure you hold back to begin with. Yeah, let's see what they have. Yeah, let's um, defend first. But lots of shots up front. So we've got Neil, John and... Cam, Craig. Craig, yeah, all you guys, I expect to see you guys shooting, yeah, lots of shots. Cam, lots of uh, lots of crosses, get lots of balls in. You're going to be on the left, so you're going to have to hit them with the right, so you're going to hit the diagonal balls to whoever's at the far post, yeah, and just play your normal game. Really? If you get the ball. <laughs> right, listen. You mean he's, he's, he's new improved game, I mean. Right, listen, yeah. right, if, you, if you get sent off today, you miss the final. So if anyone does get a yellow, just I'm going come to bring you off. Yeah. The chances are that you, you will come off. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's just because to, you to save you for, for yourself. All right, that's everyone. All right, but and listen, the team. Yeah, listen, oh lads, everyone today, everything, 100. percent It's a nice pitch. It's relatively flat, isn't it? Let's try and play some football. Let's try and work the channels as well. All right, and <coughs> you've got lots of space down the channels. Let's try and work that. Yeah, and if someone does take a shot. Neil Craig, on your on your toes, try and follow anything up because he's not a keeper, so the chances are he's gonna fumble yeah. or he's gonna save with his legs. Yeah. And you'll and you'll get the tap in. So make sure we follow that up as well, right? Also, on our corners, John, you have the edge. Anything that comes out, straight back in or you have, or you have a dig, yeah? yeah? Don't don't get caught on it. Who's on the post? Me. And so let's do Cam and Owen then on the post, yeah? Thank you. Alright. On Neil. Why don't you call that out though, yeah? On our corners, stand on that keeper. He ain't gonna come out and claim. The chances are you'll probably get St. Granny. Oh, if you're not taking him here, yeah, but we'll win the first letter. If Neil's taking the corner, someone use your head, stand on that keeper. Yeah? Cam, stand on that keeper, yeah? Don't let, don't let him come out. Alright, lads. Hey, let's try and play football. Everything doesn't have to be, listen, everything doesn't have to be a hot potato. Listen, and we, well, and we launch it. Says the long ball merchant. All right, let's try. Play the way you're facing. Just play it on the floor. Let's look for each other and trust each other. All right, and if someone does something wrong, let's encourage. Let's let's get back to good winning ways. We was all frustrated last week because we know we should have punished the game more and put it out of sight, but we didn't, and it was left on a knife edge, really. So let's let's put everything into this game, yeah. Well done, lad. So I pick. I'm going to look today. They're going to go with Craig and Neil up top with John just sat in behind and Dean Gibbs. Back in the midfield, Cam out on the left. And in the back three of Walney, Jim, Skipper Owen and Mick in goal. It will be Vambra to get things underway in this particular fixture. Uh, they've popped it off to this geezer who, he, you know, he's contemplating what to do. They've lumped it up straight into the path of the Peckham player. Uh, he's popped it into Gibson. 
Uh, he's going to look to keep the ball like he said in his pre-match talk. Unfortunately, the touch gets away from John there. Um, but they've lumped it straight back up to Mick anyway. Anyway, Mick will look to instigate an attack of our own. Um, he's pumped it up. No one's got any end of it the first time of asking, but Dino there's going to put his foot on it. Great tackle. Pop it off to Danny Gibson, who, uh, remember, don't go long. Puts it in over the top. <laughs> We're chasing it down. Uh, we do manage to get there and hold it up. We pop it off to another Peckham player there. He's got it. Gonna play it in the centre. He's got a good footwork on him, Neil there. Uh, as a dig, and it's just wide. Unlucky. It was a good opening minute. Anyway, it's a throw for Peckham. Um, it peanuts off the back of his geezer's head. He slips it straight up in the air. Um, header straight into the path of John Woolley, who brings it down superbly as a strike. And the keeper does well to keep that held. He could have fumbled that. It's a good chance, though. Anyway, their goalkeeper manages to find Danny Gibson at the halfway line, brings it under. Um, he does manage to recover, get there, plays in John Woolley, cuts it inside, and there's a beautiful little dinking over the top, and unfortunately Craig doesn't quite read it. Don't get on the end of it, but it's a promising move. Anyway, it's 10 minutes or so into the game, and a great throw from Mick. Uh, I say great throw, it just went very far. We actually got on the other end of it. They've popped it back to Dean. He's then played it out to the path of Cam, who's got it under, plays in Danny, looks for the 1-2. Unfortunately, it's intercepted slightly. However, Neil gets there. He pops it back off to Danny. Danny with a Steven Gerrard-esque slip. Plays it across the area, which you wouldn't normally do, but cool, calm, collected. We play it down this right-hand channel. Craig brings it down superbly. Plays John Woolley. It's a little one-two in, uh, down on the right-hand side. And in fact, there's a three in there as he puts it back across. And unfortunately, we don't get on the end of it again, but it's again promising signs of play. John Woolley looking lively and he's open in 10 minutes. He manages to hound it down, get it, play it out to Ant. It's unfortunately behind him. He does recover. Uh, I'm not too sure what goes on here, to be honest. I think the geezer just trips over. Uh, but John Woolley gets it, plays it over on the right-hand side. Uh, I believe that... Who is that? Is that Charlie? I, I, someone's chasing it down. They play it across. It's a good effort. Anyway, first half is advancing. And Peckham Rye getting into it. A long throwing comes in. It's flicked on. Van Brock doing what they can to get this clear. They've played it out to their geezer in a right-back position. He's got time to pick out a pass. Plays it up. But Jim there comes in, reads it very well. Um, it's a bit of a confusion there. Jim against the game, plays it out wide. Uh, John Woolley there, putting himself about. Great tackle. Anyway, Jim's got the ball. Uh, keep the ball, plays it out wide to Ant. Ant here, a uh, bit of a suspect technique there. <laughs> Tries to play the ball. Uh, I think that's down the line for Craig, but doesn't quite get there. They pick it up. I'm going to go on a little run. He's unchallenged, uncontested. They put the pressure on, but he just pops it off to this geezer. He's then going to turn up, turn back into traffic. This geezer's pass is a little short. We do manage to get it intercepted from Craig there. He's got options on the right. Does decide to go with the option on the right. The ball comes square for Dino, but unfortunately it does get away from him. As he does get there, he, <laughs> he slips, but he recovers. Um, they keep it in play, but they just go straight back down to Cam, who's been watching a little bit of me lately, and he tries a nutmeg. <laughs> he don't want to do that there. They go on the counter. They've played this geezer down the right side. He's beat the offside trap-ish. I don't know if it was an offside trap, but Owen does well to stand him up. Does what he can. They're playing it back in the middle, and it's read there by Danny Gibson filling in in the centre-back position. Very well read. And now it's a throw for Vanbra. Uh, it's flicked on. Only comes into the centre. Danny plays the ball out to Craig. Craig pops it off there to John Woolley. Now look at this. Cuts inside. Dinks in over the top for Ant, who's got the legs. He's got the pace. He's beat everyone. He's even beat the keeper. He's got an open goal. You don't fail with those. He's put it away. It's 1-0 Peckham. It's a great move. And see what it means to the boys as their promotion hopes are still alive. Anyway, Vanbrugge get things back underway uh, as we 1 0 up. See what they can throw back at us. Anyway, very clever ball here from Danny Warren into the path of Dino. Uh, he wants to keep it, you know, they're 1 0 up. Nothing silly in this first half. Play out to Danny. Danny plays it out to Ant. Uh, you know, Danny's showing for him. Uh, he goes to play it into the middle, does the flip. Danny gets there though. It's unlucky. Now, had this gone in, he'd have claimed it was a shot, but you can just see the wind has caught hold of that, and uh, <laughs> it's unlucky. But the keeper pumps it straight up. If you're not going to win it, make it difficult, as he does there, John Woolley. Uh, Cam's got it under. I know I heard that Lionel Messi's got a poster of Cam on his wall, because look at that. Great footwork. Pops it off to Danny. A first-time ball in over the top. We're chasing it down here from Craig. However, the guy does catch up with him and puts it out for a peck on my throw in. Size of him, Craig's the one you want on the receiving end of this as he sticks it in the mixer. No one gets on the end of it. Keeper claims it. It's unlucky. They're bombing down this left-hand side. Um, he cuts it inside one. I'm not sure who his anticipated target was because he picks out Danny Vaughan. 
Danny Horn then picks up two Peckham Rye players, beating the offside trap, getting in behind. Uh, Craig takes him, passing it into the net to a new level one. <laughs> Straight at the keeper there. Danny bringing it down. Um, suspect touch, but uses his body well to get in the way of it. Pops it back off to Danny Warm. Danny Warm's going to play it. Fortunately, a Dove Van Bruyne gets ahead on it. Owen there, suspect clearance, but Danny gets it under. Plays it into Dino, does lose it, but Danny's there to make up for it. A um, couple of unnecessary step overs and pops it back to Owen. Bit of hospital, but he does manage to get it clear. But a goal kick for Peckham comes up. No one meets it first time. Um, they do get it only to clear as far as Dean. Plays it in over the top. Neil, look at this, hustling. Uh, shoves his man over, get down the gym, mate. Wins the ball. Uh, he's, he's got to do better there, unfortunately. It's a, it's a good save, though, nonetheless. Anyway, you don't really want the ball to bounce. Um, but Owen does well to get it anyway. Plays it in. Jim comes in like a wrecking ball. Plays it over. Uh, they're going on counter. They're driving on. Some strong winds about. Don't know if you can hear them. As Dino plays the ball out to uh, Neil, who holds it up. And oh, those strong winds I was talking about, they, uh, they, they blow him over. Anyway, the resulting free kick, um, unfortunately, does fall short. Met by a Vambra head. It's only clear to the edge of their area for where we can pick it up. Play our own little attack down the right side. Um, unfortunately, it does get away from everyone. And I think John Woolley runs it out for a goal. Their goalkeeper gets it up to the halfway line. A header from our player. Um, it's a bit... It's a tight one. Um, they've called offside. We'll have to just take it. This is the end of the first half. Going into half time. 1-0 up. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, going forward, we're holding on to the ball a little bit too long. Yeah, we could have put a lot of through ball through because we've got runners and that guy's going to fly offside for everything. Yeah, if, even if you're, you're not offside, so you've got to put the ball through early and let the guys run onto it. We're faster than them at the front. We, um, we took it to them. We didn't look shaky at the back at all, which is, which is pretty good apart from the free kicks. Yeah, if you're going to call for the ball, make sure you get onto it. Yeah. Uh, going forward, we look really, really good. We look good on the wings, etc. Defensively, solid. Midfield, <coughs> fairly solid. Going forward, we need to take more shots. Yeah, and but again, the delivery needed to be. Yeah, the the last ball, the true ball, needed to be a bit better. Yeah. Only one goal up so far. We're hoping for about three. Yeah. But right now we're on top of them. They're arguing with themselves. Yeah, we're playing. We got it down the ground. We're playing good football. Yeah, keep it going like that. We got to make some changes. Yeah, we get everyone. Um, we get loads of other people on. I can't really That's say nothing good. different to what I said, man. I can't say nothing to what different I would say. But the only the only thing I would like to see from us more is let's release the ball a bit quicker. Yeah, you get me? Because we're fit. We're ready for this game. We're having the ball. Man, them are getting in position, but we're holding the ball just a bit too long sometimes. I'm not saying all the only problem. Yeah, some not all the yeah. time. Obviously, obviously the there's nothing wrong with playing your game. Enjoy the game. Enjoy it. But if you're going to hold on the ball, make sure you can get rid of it. You get me? Because all that will happen is we'll get caught out, and we don't want to get caught. We have a nice first half. Let's keep it unique, unity, unified. You understand? You. United, bro. <laughs> all the yeah, all the use, man. T and Duke coming in for Craig and Neil respectively up top. Uh, Dean's going to have a little breather. We're bringing Turner into the midfield and Cam off and Ricky on. Anyway, Peckham's get the second half underway. Uh, they're blessed to have such quality, both on the bench and on the pitch. Uh, the match day squad picks itself sometimes, and it, it gives Alvin a headache. Uh, but Ant there, with a new improvised little touch there, plays it into John Woolley, who spreads it across, and we do manage to keep it in play. Just a free kick to Peckham. We do manage to fire it into the area. Uh, oh, well, maybe we're not into the right area, but they're going to go on their own little counter-attack here. However, we do get a foot in. Danny Gibson here playing a ball to keep Danny Wall on his toes. It's a great touch. He's brought it out of the air. Played it into this right hand channel for T to latch onto. Um, you know, it's a good bit of running there. He's, he's hounding that down. Pressuring the guy. Um, he's fell over the same area as Danny fell over earlier, so it must be that patch of grass to be honest, but it's out for a peck and throw. Throwing a rap to Turner, who could put it in a mix up, but he decides to pop it off back to Ant, who puts a first time ball in. It's at a back post. Uh, it's a great cross, but unfortunately, no one can get on the end of it. But again, promising signs in the early stages of the second half. When Neil picks this one out of the air superbly, waits for Ant to overlap, uh, flicks it into that right-hand channel. He manages to get there. Instead of putting the first-time ball in, he tries to take this geezer on. He demonstrates he's got skills to pay the bills, but he needs to remember good crosses are for bosses, and he meets the first man at the near post. It's unlucky, though. But they're going to go on a little count, and they play it up. Uh, Peckham, Jim puts a foot in there, sorry. Danny Wall managed to get it clear. 
Anyway, they picked their goal kick out of the air like you wouldn't believe. Shouldn't have time to do that, but Danny there hounds him down, plays the ball in over to Duke, who gets on the end of it, and with Rekin and you pick out the side netting. But again, promising signs, it's unlucky. Anyway, so throwing for Vanbra. Uh, we do manage to get it semi clear, dump it up. Uh, it looks like that looked like a ball to be honest, but no one contested for it, so it must not have been. Duke's handed it down. You do not want him putting the pressure on you, and they stick it out for a peck and throw. Anyway, Ricky here with a long throw-in. Um, it's nodded on, flicked on, well, I say on, up in the air. All a bit scruffy there. We do get a shot away to keeper, but you can tell he's not a keeper. <laughs> he spooned it into T, who, with a very quick reaction strike, finds the bottom corner. I don't know how Ricky is claiming for offside. He was never. Less than 15 minutes into the second half, Peckham have extended their lead. Good going. Anyway, Vanbrugh to get it back underway. Uh, they pop it off to this geezer at left back. Who, he plays it into this unit. <laughs> He's a unit. They play it down the left hand side, and Danny sticks it out for a throw in. Uh, normally, it's the team that lead them two goals to nil that uh, want to run up the clock, run down the clock rather, um, and take their time. But Vanbrugh seems to take their time with this throw in. Um, they've already switched takers. They launch it up. Uh, we get a good head on it from Ant there. They only get as clear as far as this number three. Who that's, that's a good bit of football, to be fair. Um, he's... <laughs> Turner, you're right, mate. <laughs> but anyway, Peckham, make no mistake, getting it clear, putting it out for a throw-in. Anyway, it's a throw-in for Vambra. Um, this geezer, he, he's put the short ball off. He's played it in. Uh, it goes straight back out to the throw-in taker, who makes no mistake. Great delivery, and look at this. Great little scissor kick. Uh... Uh, yeah, sometimes you've got to compliment your position. That's a great finish. It's 2-1. They're backing it. Free kick for Peckham anyway. Uh, they look to play a very high line there, to be fair. John Wally can only find a goalkeeper. Again, another free kick for Peckham. Danny playing it in over the top. Um, again, another high line. And this guy's almost spoons it in for an own goal. Uh, he puts it out for a Peckham corner. We fire it in. Uh, we meet it at a back stick there from Turner. He nods it straight back across like he meant to. Uh, there's a bit of hustle and bustle in the middle there. And unfortunately, T fires wide. Peckham looking and threatening from these long throw-ins from Ricky out here on the left. Um, famous last words, really. But we get that one semi-under. Uh, it's an unorthodox pass. We're chasing it down. Uh, they're going to, again, come in like that, get it clear. As Danny says, no need to foul him. See it out for a throw. Anyway, the throw-in comes in. Uh, T brings it down superbly. He's got this geezer almost at arm's length. He's holding him off. He puts a foot in and it's out for a Peckham right corner. Anyway, the corner to be taken by Neil. Um, it's going to be an in-swinger. Excuse me, he plays it in. Um, he says in-swinger, it's a floated one to the back stick. They punch it into our player, but they get it clear. He brings it down. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's it. I know swear getting it clear from Jim there. That's where he does well to track it all the way. And but he's even kept it in place. Not even needed to use a keeper. Anyway, this geezer takes the throw in. That's a suspect one. Uh, it looks like a foul throw to me. Uh, but Turner comes in, pickpockets his geezer, plays it down the right-hand side. Away for Nils to get on a counter-attack. Unfortunately, just gets away from him and it's a throw in. Anyway, the throw in for Peckham. Uh, he's taken. We pick it up there. Uh, that's Duke on the ball. He's going to try and take his man on. He gets tackled, but again, doesn't give up. Pickpockets that geezer. Looks to play the square ball. T is in the middle. Unfortunately, the keeper does get there, though. Anyway, it's a good bit of distribution. Um, it's a weird way of doing it, but it's a good pass nonetheless. Anyway, they pick this geezer out. He's played it down the left. Nice little flick on there. Uh, but Turner rolling back the years, putting himself about. Got to get the ball there, to be honest. They've hooked it round. Um, I, 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 <laughs> that line decision, I, I, pff, uh, disregarded, as you can imagine. And look at this. It's a fine bit of distribution from Mick. I know you can't see it, but he honestly does pick up one of our men with precision. We play it in over the top. Juki chasing it down. Um, goes for a little cross ball over to T. Unfortunately, it doesn't quite get to him. However, gets to it, gets out, gets it in. It's a great delivery. Uh, Duke leaps, unfortunately, impedes and gives away a foul. But promising football. Anyway, T here with a throw in. Pops it in. Duke's got it. It's the dying embers of the game. It's the 91st minute. It's the latter stages of the game. Uh, he's just going to keep the ball, play it into nil in the middle who does try, which would have been a good pass out to Ant. Unfortunately, it was intercepted, though, and they're going to drive on. 
It's do or die for them at this minute. And they go on a little counter attack. Play it down this right hand side, but Danny Warner getting it. Clear as. And it's got to be it, surely. It's not quite blown yet. Uh, goalkeeper, I don't know if the wind's caught that, but it's not gone far. Neil's got underneath it, picked it out of the air. Uh, he's going to a little drive. He's going to play the ball across the middle, pick it up out of the OT. He's going to turn, have a drive. He's beat this man. He's cut inside, he's beat that man. Um, he's blown for offside, it's unlucky, but again, you're making up the yards, you're keeping them in their own half. In fact, in this particular circumstance, you're keeping them in their own box in the 92nd minute with a 2-1 lead. It's not bad. Anyway, if I'm trying to amount to something out here, but Dino, look at this, a little bit on the wild side. <laughs> um, must not have made the highlight real, so it couldn't have been that great, but they got a long throw in. They throw it into the area. Um, they've got it semi-clear. They put it back in the middle, put it back out again. It's like the hokey cokey. Uh, their goalkeeper with a the header there. Juki's picked it up. I don't know what he's doing out of there. Um, he's gone for goal. He's dragged it wide. It's unlucky, but just shows. We've got every chance of winning this. I'm not sure how many minutes of injury time there was, but it's the longest bit of injury time ever. Um, probably squeaky bum time for the players on the pitch. Anyway, they're coming down this left-hand side. Um, he's done well to spin our players there, to be fair. He's got away and roped the challenge as well. Played it out to the left-hand side. Owen's got out there, stood him up very well. Uh, he's played to the whistle. Puts a good foot in there. Turner kicks it off of him. And look at this, using his body very well. Goes down like a sack of bricks. <laughs> anyway, Peck and Raya throw him. Throw it down this right hand side. They've nodded it straight back across the middle. Um, I, like I say, this is the longest bit of injury time I've ever had to witness in my life. Uh, but <laughs> it's a bit of a foul there. Free kick given Vambra's way. You know what I don't understand there is that that centre half is clearly bigger than a goalkeeper. What they're sending a goalkeeper up for, I don't have a clue. Um, it's a scramble, but we do it. It's full time. 2 1 Peckham. Come on, boys. Promotion hope still alive. Every game is a cup final, including this Sunday, where we have Bald and Sport reserved in the Leader Trophy. Get down, get your tickets. It's a day to remember. Thanks for tuning in. See you later.